Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my brand new Secret Lab Titan chair. All right, now some of you might be thinking, hang on a minute, this is a music channel, you play guitar, why are you reviewing a chair? Now this is completely relevant to us guitar players as well as those who tend to spend a lot of their time sitting in an office or you know gaming or whatever you like to do in your spare time. If you spend a lot of your time sitting, then it is very important to have a quality chair, right? Just like it's in your best interest to have a quality bed since they say we spend about a third of our lives in bed. And if you also spend a third of your life in a chair, then maybe you wanna consider the chair that you're using for the benefit of your well-being. And that is why I'm here today filming this video. Now, just before we proceed, let me just give you a little backstory to why I'm even here with a new chair. And maybe some of you guys can actually relate. So the number one primary reason to why I even consider getting a new chair is because I live in a hot and humid climate. And when you live in this kind of climate, you definitely want a chair that breathes and keeps you somewhat cool. And that's something that I've significantly lacked over the years. I've never owned a chair that has the ability to breathe. Typically, the majority of the chairs on the market are faux leather or polyurethane leather, which essentially are just kind of rubberized plasticky materials, which do not promote breathability at all, but rather just make you stick to your chair and have to go to the bathroom every five minutes to wipe yourself down because you're so sweaty. But besides this, there's also another handful of issues which have been bothering me over the years, such as lack of comfortability, lack of durability. So for example, many of my chairs got to the point where I would be filming a video and the moment I moved slightly, the chair would go which obviously just interrupts the video. I've experimented with soft foam and hard foam and never really found that happy medium, which again relates to the lack of comfortability within the chair because, you know, maybe it's just not designed very well. And lastly, the overall adjustability of the majority of chairs or the lack of. I mean, most chairs would allow you to go up and down and maybe tilt back a little bit, but I never really found one that works with your body. Yes, they have these functions, but they don't necessarily work with your body. So collectively with all of these issues in mind, that then led me to go on Google and search for best chair on the market. And I found a good handful of websites and companies that offered chairs, which supposedly combat some of these issues. And after sifting through them, I decided in the end that I should go with Secret Lab. So here I am with my brand new Secret Lab chair. I've been using this for a couple of weeks already so I can really feed back to you on my thoughts so far and you know share some of the functions of this chair for those of you who might be considering getting a new chair. Now on their website, at this current moment in time, they have three primary chairs, the Throne, the Omega, and the Titan, which are essentially very similar chairs that just come in different sizes and have slightly different functions. For my size and weight category, there were two chairs that suited me best, which were the Omega and the Titan series. Now I chose the Titan. The general difference between these two is that the Titan is a bit bigger and therefore much of a looser fit, whereas the Omega is a bit of a tighter, almost race car-like fit. Now based on the fact that I'm a guitar player, therefore I need a bit more space and the fact that I just enjoy a bit more space, I chose to go with the Titan. So, fun facts about this chair. Why did I choose it? What features does it have? So let me tell you, the number one primary feature that sold it to me was the fabric that they used to make it, which is their signature blend of fabrics that they like to call soft weave, which promotes breathability, softness, comfortability, all that good stuff that you'd want in a chair. Especially for me, since I live in a hot and humid climate, I need a chair that allows breathability. Now the material used on the exterior actually works hand in hand with the material on the interior, which is the cold cure foam. That's what they call it. Essentially what that is, it's just a type of foam that again, allows a bit of breathability and also is on the firmer side of foam. Because as you probably know, you have soft foam, you have hard foam and firm and you know everything in between. Now, despite me saying that this is on the firmer side, it's not too firm. The next fun fact that I want to share with you is the adjustability of this chair. It blows away everything else I've seen on the market. My number one favorite thing, as you can imagine, is the ability to recline all the way down. I love this. I got a fan on up there. I can just hang out underneath the fan and 
genuinely take a nap here. It's so comfortable and I've got this little pillow here which comes with the chair which helps support your head and your neck whilst you lay down. So that's a real nice feature if you just want to take a break from work. Now besides that feature, if you're not sold already, the arms on this chair come with the 4D technology which essentially means that they can go up and down of course. They can also go side to side, forwards and back and they can even go diagonally like this which is great if you're using a keyboard and mouse because when the arms go inwards that is naturally what your arms do when you're using a keyboard and mouse. Nobody ever sits like this and uses their keyboard and mouse in such a stern position. However there's just one thing that I want to mention with the arms here. They're fantastic, I love them, they're very practical when I'm on the computer or just hanging out but unfortunately as a guitar player they do get in the way. Fortunately, you can remove them very easily with six screws underneath. However, if you're like me and you can pick up and put down your guitar five times in a short period of time, obviously you don't want to be reattaching these screws all the time. So it's not ideal. I would like to see foldable arms. That would be incredible. Perhaps that's a new design idea from 4D technology to 5D. Now as a temporary solution to this, what I've done is I've unscrewed the actual arms from their holders so that I'm able to just take them out and put them in as I please. The only downside to this is that when they go in their socket, since they're not screwed in, they're a little bit shaky. But I can live with that, that's fine, so that I can have the ability to use or not use the arms as I please. So we've spoken about breathability, comfortability, adjustability, but let's now go ahead and talk about the build quality and my general thoughts on the chair and whether I think it's worth it or not. So regarding the build quality, I'm impressed. I'm very critical at this kind of stuff, but I can really see that Secret Lab have put a lot of thought into the design and functionality of their chairs. Even with the little things such as the rubber feet for example on previous chairs they would always make a noise on the floor but these are pretty much completely silent and even with the stitching on the arms and you know other parts of the chair even underneath the chair where you don't even see it doesn't look like any of the stitching is going to come loose anytime in the near future so overall what are my thoughts on the chair i must say i'm incredibly impressed with the overall build quality the design the comfortability as i mentioned earlier the only small issue is that I would like the arms to be flippable so that I can play guitar and take advantage of the arms when I'm at the computer. But you know, that's just a minor detail that perhaps only guitar players will encounter. Now the real question is, do I think that you should upgrade your chair and consider getting a Secret Lab chair? Well, I don't know about you, but as I said at the beginning of the video, the way I like to see it is that if you spend an equal amount of time sitting in a chair as you do in your bed, yet you're happy to spend a few hundred dollars on your bed but not your chair, then Maybe you want to rethink that. And you may have heard the saying, buy nice or buy twice. And with regards to this chair, I'm definitely not going to be needing a new chair anytime soon as I'm super stoked with what it has to offer. So I think that just about covers everything that I want to share with you in today's video. If you have any questions or things that you would like to share, then make sure you let us know in the comments below. And if you want to check this chair out, then I've left the link in the description of this video. So go ahead and check that out if you're considering upgrading your chair. And that's everything that I've got to say. So ciao for now.